time. And we are back. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Court. And we are back. We got the full crew in the house. That is what it's all about. The Yankees out of any team in the league are the best equipped to handle a blow like this. I think there is a higher power at play here. He's due law of averages. That dude is the ultimate scrub. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> yeah. Every person you have in there is fucking trash. Next game, you're going to see a big, big, big performance. You can see it in the end of the game, and I'm just totally stoked so and excited, excited for this. For this. And we're back. It is your host with the most and my co-host with some toast, Tony, over there producing Main Magic What's Mike up? on Twitter over here, Tony underscore foosball over there. Yeah, I like that, dude. You like that? I like that. Um, shout out Tiffany's. Cheers, bud. Two in a row. Cheers, bud. To a good morning, Three to a good morning. show. What's, what's say? There's four in a row, baby. Four in a row. Tiffany, thank you. Yeah. Um, how's your how's your your uh, my rising? Morning? Oh, dude, my my oh, excuse me, my, my rising was great. I don't like know? to say morning, folks, because right. it's it's you it's a, mourn. you're mourning the day already. Let's right. rise, like the Rangers. We gotta think of something better. I think, dude. I, it, it does. It, well, you're just not used to it. People aren't used to say good rising. No, no, no. First of all, you've been saying good rising for like over a year. It's well, still a year not comfortable now, for people. No, it's not because everybody just don't think says it's good, good morning. Though. I just don't think it's everybody's good rising. used to it. If, we, if no, you no. came out the womb and it was good rising instead of good morning, you would say good morning is weird. Probably. You're probably right. But over the course of time, so I would, now for the next 20 if it's years, good, if it's good, I think, no, no, I think we can come no, up with a no. better, a better word than good rising. All right. So what? And it'll catch. Well, I mean, I, I don't know yet, but we'll find, figure it out. Rise but, and shine. People like that. Ooh, rise and shine is like that. I like that too. Rise and shine. Uh, my rising and shining was good this morning. Yeah, how was your rise and shine? Honestly, I went on a run this morning. Didn't expect it to be raining. It was raining. Yeah, it was sprinkled. Um, but you know what? I felt like I was in the fucking jungle, dude, with the rain in my face. It was mm. cold. <sighs> fucking Rambo, you drive dude. drive to other places to run sometimes. Um, see, but that's like... I mean, I could. You're just, that's too much. Well, then just defeats the purpose of the point of I can just run, running. Just running. I, I out my door running and then looping back into my door, starting your breakfast, getting your in the shower. Um, by the way, breakfast this morning for you, Michael. Um, and I, didn't, I haven't checked the, uh, the you know, the uh, engagement on Twitter with this one, but I tweeted it out. Um, and well, I was very, very skeptical of this one. Um, I know I should. Thank you, Michael. I was very skeptical of this one. I'm not a big cinnamon raisin bagel fan. Um, but it's all I have left. And as you know, I've been searching for the good bagel here. So this is a Staten Island bagel still. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to make a sandwich with it, see what happens. And it was um, surprisingly delightful, dude. And I highly recommend it. I love that. Yeah. Um, I did not have breakfast. I, I like to do, you know, the, as much as I can, the intermittent fasting in the morning. But I did have a good workout. Um, yoga, always. Love that. Um, but I just wanted to get to the comments quickly. Brian Barnaby uh, who I'm channeling, who I'm glad is here. He says, yo, what's up? Morning. 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 Mornings, probably. Yeah. Mornings. Hey, yo, from e Eggs Flips yeah, and Company, baby. which is Jay. Um, uh, coming to you from the UK. Jay, hey. Um, nice to see you, bud. Thanks for tuning in. What time is it there? They're One probably, yeah, they're probably three hours ahead. Of ahead. Us. Yeah. <clears throat> Brian Barnaby about to hit the buffet. And the beach, but just wanted to say you guys are killing it. And the Rangers over the stars, six to one breakfast. It's 3 p.m. All right. Wow, six hours ahead. 3 p.m. Jay's getting breakfast at 3 p.m. That is pretty impressive. Yeah, dude. Um, but across the pond, I think it's time to go to the world of the National Basketball Association. All right, we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday since I'm in charge. Uh, the Knicks sadly won, and I'm just joking when I say Aww. that. I'm joking. I'm glad they won. 119-113. Uh, I'm, You know, I'm glad they won because they beat uh, this specific Your team. Which, yeah, which is the Pacers and Tyrese Halliburton. Um, anytime they could beat him or Donovan going forward. Makes you happy, man. Makes me happy. 
Uh, and it makes me happy because no offense to Rick, he harps on it so much because you know how it is, dude, when you don't know much about a certain sport. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying he doesn't know a lot about basketball, but he doesn't know like that much about basketball. So when he's talking about Halliburton, he's just hearing what people are saying. Donovan mm -hmm. Mitchell. Yeah. That's cool too to get like we, yeah, th but there's so many guards forever. You know what guards I'm saying? Guards forever, dude. Yeah. Like I'd rather take a chance. Right. On Bowl Bowl. Oh my God. The Bowl <laughs> Bowl scene is so I'm hot. I'm going to manifest Michael. that. Let's if, do it. If anyone is going to do that, it's going to be me for Bowl Bowl because Bowl I'm Bowl, sick baby. of the disrespect for him. Um, He is a Hall of Famer if given the right opportunity. Um, and that'll be with the Knicks, uh, cause I'm going to manifest it and bull bull. You're going to hear this. You're going to see this. Um, and you're going to be like, yo, my agent, PJ Armstrong, let's make some moves, dude. I'm freaking getting DMPs in Orlando. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Anyway, uh, Memphis me, 135, 129, a nice moment from that game. You'd like this John Morant, uh, some kid got his signed basketball stolen from some jerk off and, uh, uh, some nice person. This is why you use Twitter, Manny. Uh, some nice person tweeted, hey, some jerk off stole some, this nice kid and his family signed whatever. Um, and John Morant said, do you know the family? Obviously, images and video surfacing of multiple John Morant uh, signed stuff for the for the family. That's nice, dude. Very nice. But what a jerk off, huh, Tony? That guy who stole it? Who does that? Dude, stealing from a fucking kid. A kid? Sign sports memorabilia, you piece of shit. Dude. Like that, he. Th I, it's like probably one of those things where the kid, the family, got there early. Oh yeah, ja, ja. Ja, ja. The kid wanted to go, dying for it all day, all day talking Dad about saved it. Saved up for fucking months. Oh to yeah, kid, dude, dude. to be able to even get to that area. Uh huh. Gets a signature from Ja. Stolen, gone. Piece of shit. Gosh dude. darn it. Well, good for but Ja yeah, though, good for dude. Ja. And, and I feel like you've harped on Ja for being kind of one of those. No, 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 no. I don't like him on the court. Yeah, but is, he's a you nice were dude. like showy. No, you don't, yeah, I don't no, know. No. That though. The personality on the core, yeah. I don't like. No, but that right. doesn't mean I don't like him off the core. He's a family man. Uh, got a kid, daughter. Uh, all he does is just hoop and stuff. But I don't like that. He's like Russell Westbrook to me back when Russell Westbrook was young. But now look at Russell Westbrook. He's is not karma, young. Is karma a bitch? Yeah, seems like with him. his career. Yeah, because he was the exact go. I wish you were into the NBA back when he was on OKC. So that into it. And going into, I know, and going into the <laughs> NBA finals right. at 22 years old. It was good. Uh, it was like, who's better, him or Derek, MVP Derek Rose? Wow. So anyway, Minnesota, this is for Barnes, loses 135, 118, which will probably go down as one of the biggest heists ever uh, in Utah with Gobert and Minnesota. But, um, this is good if you're a Knicks fan also, because I like the uh, the possibility of a um, Anthony Edwards to the Garden, because I, I do think Anthony Edwards has Jordan talent. So um, that's just, I'm just going to leave that there and go to the next team. Chicago, Washington, Chicago, another loss, which is ridiculous, but uh, there's rumors that, um, what's his name, dunk contest, Levine, uh, is probably going to LA, the Lakers. So we'll see if that actually happens. Um, I feel I'm bad for the Lakers, honestly. It's. Do you feel bad for the Lakers, or is it like they did it to themselves, sort of deal? Yeah. Well, when you, I don't know, man. It's kind of like when you do it to yourself, uh, you do it to yourself. And they gave up a lot of youth. You you go yeah. back to those pieces when they had all those young bucks from Lonzo Ball, who you know. He's hurt right now. He's been hurt all year, mm -hmm. but he's a, a great player. We were, you know, you've, you, we talked about him so much before he yeah. got hurt. So we had Lonzo Ball. You had Jordan Clarkson, who's having 40 point games, it seems, regularly with uh, Utah. You have Kuzma, who, yeah, I don't know. He's like a bootleg, uh, I don't know. A super bootleg T Mac, all right, like wow. something like that, like super bootleg. Super bootleg. I, I don't even dude. want to give him the. I don't even. Want, I couldn't think of anyone else. But, <laughs> oh, um, Matthew. He, by the way, yeah, we'll get into the comments in one sec. And um, uh, Larry Nance Jr. They had all these young bucks, and they had um, I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, Zubats, uh, who's on the Clippers. You give him up to the Clippers, but and now look, uh, what's his name's injured again? Our boy, your boy. 
uh, unibrow. Ah, dude. What? It's, he's he's. What do you mean? He gets. He has a uh, commercials for it. Yeah, I know. No, he does enjoy that. Um, it's his thing. What that? Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. Ad. Ad. And you know what's crazy? People were trying to the disrespect early on, and it's you know it just. I, but again, I, like, that's another thing. Like, I understand the Lakers bet on him to be healthy, um, and he did struggle with injuries. But it's like every year they've had him, he's been like losing significant <clears throat> playing time because of an injury. LeBron's out. I'm telling you that right now. Like out. He like, went. He talked. Yeah, he's yeah. he's leaving, dude. He's either you're trading me, or I'm signing free agency. He's um, trash, dude. He that that whole thing is whack. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know what it is. Let's just go to the comments real yeah, quick. Yeah, so let's, let's move the show along, honestly, dude. It's whatever, man. Um, so Matthew, I'm stealing the show here. He says Lakers suck, mm -hmm. suck ass. Mm. LeBron equals loser. Uh. And he goes, I was so riled about that young core: yeah, Lonzo, see? Clarkson, Kuzma, Ingram, Nance, Zubac. Ingram too. I forgot Brandon Ingram too, dude. And then LeBron and Magic make that trade. Worked out one time, 2020. That's it. But that was even the magic. Uh, traded Zubak yeah. for a bag of chips, dude. Lays? And Renee says, hey, guys. Hey, guys, yes. Uh, Lays? Yeah, probably Lays. But we don't want Lays. We want fucking deep river, kettle cooked fucking chips with a salt, sea salt and vinegar. vinegar. Manny. We'll settle for sour cream and onion, maybe. For Manny. For Manny. All right. Um. So we're going to go to the games tonight. Like yeah, last go. night. Relax. Bang it. So we're going to get there. Banging it. We're going to do Brooklyn, dude. I have a feeling, Tony, hear me on this. Uh, I think Kyrie. Brooklyn. <laughs> no. Brooklyn, Boston. So would you <laughs> would you say rivalry somewhat? I mean, it got to be. East Coast? Come on, dude. New York. New York, right? Mass. It's, like, it's so bootlegged, though, with Brooklyn. Yeah, I know. It kind of is. Can't. They're still New Jersey. Dude. I know. It's forever. still Jersey. But I have a feeling you're going to see a nice little stretch from Kyrie, folks. If I was a betting man, really? I'd bet Kyrie through this stretch while a uh, Katie's out. Katie is out, right? Knee, out, not yeah. as bad as we think though, right? No, it's um a sprain. He's so frail, dude. <laughs> dude, he came down awkward though. If you saw it, folks. Um he looks so, awkward. So that's a big game tonight. Boston game. versus Brooklyn. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown um wow. are a great, great duo. It's almost like what Toronto back in the day wanted to do with Vince and T Mac, but they just got impatient. Mm -hmm. Um but if you about that Boston being minus three in Brooklyn. You think that's right? You know what's funny, dude? Um, so I'm I'm not a betting man, as you know. Right. Minus three is they like are expected to be somewhere within the three point. They're gonna win oh, okay. by three points. Oh yeah, I, that's that least. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Cause Boston is is they're look at their record. Right. So they're they're keeping it tight. Yeah, because of Kyrie. Right. I'm telling you, Kyrie's probably going to get like 50 this game. That's awesome. Um, TNT 730. Love then it. the next game you guys could watch is the past versus the present, Brian Barnaby. The past versus the present, Brian Barnaby. In Los Angeles Lakers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Luca, tell me how gangster this is, Tony. Riddle me this. Okay? <clears throat> You're Luka Doncic. Uh huh. Is this not the most disrespectful thing to your fellow NBA players in the nicest way? I think it's like so gangster. I'm saying he's getting questioned at the podium about him watching NBA games and he doesn't watch NBA games. He watches Euro league games because mm. it's more entertaining and he thinks the game there is harder. Um, that's and I agree. I, I would say, so? I would say now at this point in, in the world of the basketball world, realm realm thank you it is it's it's more physical which is ironic because they used to be the softies and they got physical mm -hmm. and we made the game soft in the nba is like is the european league i mean is it any different i know you i think we had talked about there are differences tending yes. is like kind of allowed right but the is, court's the same size right no it's I a think bigger the court's court a little bit different um the ball's different really nba or um FIBA world court, same as NBA. Did I know, like, if we, anybody in the comments, let us know too if you know. Yeah, I'll check it out here. Uh, oh, I got it. Uh, FIBA court is smaller, measuring 91. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the three point, creates the three point line shorter. Too. Oh, wow. So, dude, it's like you'd be great in FIBA for because you're not a three point shooter, Tony. Yeah, yeah. Barnes knows, Brian, yeah, yeah. you know, Michael. I see spot on Michael. Great chips. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, dude. Matthew. Okay. Um, 
One more game I will give you guys. Oh, oh, oh I want to finish talking about this, actually. Yeah, talk about it. Luca, Luca, 50 burger. I honestly think <laughs> he's going to go for, he's going to try to get some ridiculous stat line. It's either going to be a scoring stat line or a triple. He just had 60 point triple double. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I remember that. Was that against the Knicks? Stop it. No. Even though a lot of people have had historic games against the Knicks, thank God that wasn't one of them. Didn't he? But that that like overtime. Winner, oh wait, it was. it was against the Knicks in Dallas, though. That's why it doesn't count. Wow, how do I know? Things? It doesn't count. <laughs> it has to be in the Garden it's to in make the it a fucking elite. record books, bro. Are you yeah. sure it was? It was in Dallas. No, yeah, it, it was. was it was. Dallas, it was. Yeah. It was. It, that's why it would be more elite. If it was, see if it was at the Garden. Oh yeah, if it was the Garden. Have... <laughs> um. I so anyway, garden. real quick, <laughs> Garden of Eden. Um. So yeah, Dallas. It's going to be like a 60, 70. Maybe he tries to one up Donovan. Maybe he goes for Kobe. Maybe he tries to go for Kobe <laughs> and do the Kobe triple double, though. 80, 82 triple double. Yeah. That'd be nuts. That's that's ridiculous. That's the game's different, though. Um, and then everybody watch out for Portland. There's a lot going on over there. Um, but that is it for the NBA. Um, before we go, couple we'll comments. Get to the comments. Uh, Matthew does agree. Europe, Europe, much better on the rise. NBA way too soft and beat and rigid. He says. I think it's rigged. Oh, rigged. Yeah, yeah, that's rigged. He says, "LOL to himself." <laughs> and then Eggflip says, "Get roasted, Tony." When did you get roasted? I roasted you. Yeah, I get roasted. Yeah, dude. Jay's probably roasted himself. <laughs> <laughs> In England. Boom, dude. How's, how's your the crumpets how, and cheese? Uh, uh, how's mate? your English breakfast with a side of extra breakfast, dude? An extra cucumber. Yeah. Enjoy your fucking blood oranges, dude. Or your <laughs> roasted tomatoes. Or your blood sausages, as they is. And the toffee pudding's really good, though. I like toffee pudding. One more comment. Uh, Uga dunks on LeBron's head tonight. <laughs> and With that is how we'll end the NBA segment. We will go now to the world of the National Hockey League. Here's Matthews. Scores! Patrick goal! My goodness, this is a great shot. Big hit on the far side by the car! He flattens Jordan's skull! Oh my goodness! That's the gun right back! Terrified and robbed by Sesterkin. That's brilliant! From Igor Shosturkin. It's a breakaway to win it in overtime. McDavid scores! The winner in overtime! That's the one with the piano, baby. That fires you up to talk about some hockey. Tony, speaking of firing me up, did we put on music last time for hockey? Uh, no, we didn't. Not yesterday, no. We did football. By the way, Jay's talking about when you say that I can't take threes. Roasted. That's when I was roasted. I was roasted when you said that I could not take threes. Oh, it's not a roast. Which it's, I mean, I'm Tony first knows. Of all, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Second of all, dude, you'll be surprised, Jay. Okay. When uh, we're back out on the court. All right. Yeah. This isn't gonna be the Euro League in England. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be a bigger court, deeper three point line. <laughs> <laughs> You looking into the, the the soul of Jay saying deeper three point line. <laughs> yeah, I know Jay's laughing while eating some crumpets. Oh yeah, is that what it's called? Crumpets? Dude. Yeah, Sorry, tea folks. and crumpets. Okay, cool. Then they call so, it cookies, biscuits. Bring it back, as Barnes would say, to the sports for one second. Okay. Um, even though this is my show, Barnes. Um, so last night or yesterday? It's last night. Last night, actually. Uh, but before we made picks yesterday, I lost. I went 0-2, which makes sense because I know nothing about hockey. So um, I just was scrambling there. And then Tony went 2-0. He went. He's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm. Um, so with, with, But we're not getting chicken dinner. We're getting no. Sammy Southport Pizza, which, Tony, would you say is your favorite pizza place in Fairfield County right now? In Fairfield County, that's definitely for sure. Yeah, obviously, I haven't tried every pizza place in Fairfield County, but I've tried a lot. Up to now. Sammy yeah. Southport is my favorite for sure. And why, why, All around. why do you have, like, any say in the game? If people don't know why, like, there's new viewers that may be in here. Right, right. Well, well I'm the pizza prince. Right. I, my stepfather owned a pizza place for 30 years. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I grew up in the oven. Well, not that it sounds sound wrong. I grew up... I, <laughs> By the oven, dude. Yeah, folks, okay. Good by the oven, dude. Jesus. Um, well, I'm from Staten Island, New York, right? For people who don't know who are who are tuning in right now, which um, in my opinion, well, New York is obviously, obviously the spot for pizza, which is why the water 
You know, yeah, yeah. They they say it's because of the water. Scientists have proven that. Obviously, I come from Staten Island, a borough of New York City. Um, you know, my family have has also been in the business. My grandfather ran restaurants. My uncle owned restaurants. Um, so you know, we we're a heavy food family. Tried tons of pizzas over the course of my life. Um, so I think I have a, a good grasp um, on food in general. But pizza is one of my favorites. So um, you know, I like to try pizza. I like to talk about it, and I and I and I know what I do like. You know, so and I know it's good. I think I know it's fresh, and so is Michael, which is why we pair together quite nicely, like peas and carrots. Yes, or peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, or you know, bread with sauce and cheese baked in the oven, or olive oil and apple cider vinegar with some sea salt. Right, Matthew? <laughs> I know he knows. Yeah. Um. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you want to get <laughs> what? Uh, Matthew says, uh, Jay, Cheerio Sport. <laughs> and he goes, Pizza Med with the fist. Yep, and here comes and Jay. And he goes, Wait, no. uh, Matthew says, Sammy is delicious. <laughs> Jay. And then Jay says, El Mayo in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny? When I said that, I thought of Jay in all yeah. of his screen time oh line, one-liners. God. That is a Jay moment, dude. Um, What a combo. Uh, What a combo. And yeah. so uh, we're going to get into this. Just we're going to get into this. this and we're going to do a frenzy, folks, because I'm going to fire it up right now. I'm going to throw something at Tony, see if he's down. If he's down, we're going to do it. We're going to do double or nothing because it's Southport Pizza. Let's fucking go. They dude. also have the Greek salad, which is fire. So that'll be for the double or nothing tonight. Oh, we'll make our yes. picks. <laughs> So it's salad. I thought it was. We'll make full our picks for the for the salad tonight. The pizza yeah, yeah. is already done, Love but it. it'll be double or nothing. I'm saying for tonight, Love this it. is gonna be dope. So, Washington, uh, the Capitals. Start up a little bit. You want you want a bit of this, dude? Yeah, that's cool. I like this. NHL prime time. Is it? That's ESPN prime time. NFL prime time. <laughs> All right, that's cool with me. All right, so a um, little a little upset uh, as you look. Konensny has a hat trick. I thought it'd be the other way around as Flyers top capitals. I know. You never would have thought, dude. We want to break this down. Is that what you're doing? Oh, yeah. You remember you have a minute. Oh, let's break it down. All right, real quick here. So, obviously, Travis here, uh, you know, taking the uh, Washington Capitals here by storm. Very surprised. Michael did say yesterday, I agreed with him. Ovechkin obviously has been on top of it in terms of scoring for the Washington Capitals. But you know what? Washington does not have much more going for them. Darcy has been decent, uh, but they definitely do have some improvements. But again, you still would think in Philly. But John Tortorella knows how to fire up that's a team. your boy. That's for sure. And you're in Philly. I would imagine the home crowd was great for the Flyers here tonight, uh, which was probably a big reason why you saw Travis extend his level of play higher to new heights for his hat trick here. But you know, once again, I mean, this right winger here, young guy, 25 out of London, Ontario, 46 points, leading the team, probably right behind Kevin Hayes in points. Five seconds. So good job for him, though. Good job. Proud of him. All righty, then. Um, did you know that the All-Star Twitter fan vote is underway? I did know that. Well, folks, if you didn't know, you can go and vote for your favorite players like Jack Hughes and uh, Shesterkin. Uh, who is already in it, I think. He, he's an all-star, yeah. Already, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think you can vote for, like, for a captain and stuff like that. Cool, you vote know? for him to be the captain. Um, so anyway, we're going to move on over. We're going to scoo mm. scooch on over to the next game. Um, it is Toronto A versus Nashville. <laughs> oh, the Predators. That's right, buddy. I like that. Now, starting off scoring here in Toronto here, Nashville's been on a hot streak. Great defense, great offense. Um, you know, but you did have Toronto coming out here hot. Jonathan Tavares. Um, That's getting, your boy, too. Jonathan Tavares? Yeah, yeah he's good. Islanders, you know, former baby, Islander baby. captain. Um, you know, the Islanders were sad to see him go. But the Islanders, they, 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 they fumbled the whole situation. But nonetheless, Tavares gets his 20th goal on the season so far. Puts him up one nothing early. Then you have Philip Forsberg, my guy I said to watch out for from Nashville. He ties up the second period. But then third period, Mitch Marner. Um, this is someone who uh, Brian makes fun of because they say Mitch Marner a lot. Michael Bunting on the Toronto Blues as well. Uh, Marner gets the power play goal here. Uh, this is another example of late in the game, tied up. You cannot be playing undisciplined hockey and giving up stupid penalties, giving a team like Toronto a man advantage and subsequently the winning goal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful breakdown. All right, the next game, the dude you have a hard on for Really came on through last night for the Edmonton Oilers, um, oiling up the Ducks six to two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, dude. They get, they better call Anaheim. Better call fucking damn. What's that? Um, 
and I'm losing the, it, oh, dude. the lawyer office? No, no, the fucking um the dish soap that dude. they use to clean for oil spills and they clean all the birds. Dude. What the fuck is that company? Dish dish soap. Dish dish soap. Manny. Manny. <laughs> You're alone. All right. Anybody anyway, in dude, the comments, so, let us know if we know what the hell he's talking about. Dawn. Dawn. Get a call. Dawn. Dawn. Dude. Dawn. 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 Dish soap. Dawn. Oil it up, dude. Let's so go. the Anaheim Ducks here at home in the Hanaheim. Getting embarrassed. <laughs> in the Hanaheim. In the Hanaheim. Uh, getting I'll in, give you an extra getting, 30, by the way. Getting embarrassed you, you here. Had to go Dawn. The scoring started early. Three and a half minutes into this game. You're, you're going to go by Holloway. A minute later, a go by Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who Brian enjoys. And then five minutes after that, a goal by McDavid. Again, right before the first period, a goal by Costin. And then Costin again starts off the second period with another goal. And then dry side, a power play goal Ten in the seconds. second period. Third period was quiet. That's because Edmonton didn't need to. You had some great moves by Connor McDavid. Look up his highlights from this game. He has a, a beautiful stop, oh, turnaround, so good. fucking goal. It was awesome, dude. Uh, 53 shots on goal here for Edmonton. You knew Anaheim was shit. I was still doubting. Anaheim does have talent, obviously. You never know with Edmonton in terms of their defense. But they played a good game. They could be more physical. Good job on the PK, I suppose. But Anaheim just sucks. You kind of assumed Edmonton would win this one. So good job uh, for, get, for doing your job. Okay, good job for doing your job, Edmonton. You would think in the ocean abyss, a shark would kill a king. Oh, no, dude. But not when there's multiple. That's what happens when the Kings beat the Sharks four to three. Talk to me about it. All right, that is right, dude. A king, the Kings, the you Kings. Like they were the Kings of the Ice last night over at the Staples Center, winning four to three against the Sharks. Uh, the Sharks, you know, another team, a slow start of the season, but they are very talented. Logan Couture, veteran. Uh, you know about Carlson as well. Um, you know, they definitely miss some guys like Brent Burge and stuff like that. But nonetheless. Um, L.A. here just kind of overwhelmed them with offense here. 30 seconds. Uh, Kemp right away, first period, first goal, put them up at one nothing. Uh, Benino tried to start off the second period with another goal. He did unassisted, but did not do much because a few minutes later, you had Byfield. Bang! Give L.A. the lead again. And then third period, Timo Meyer on the power play. But then Velarde, the young buck, drafted, I think, two years ago by L.A., doing a great job for them. Drew Dowdy, the veteran defenseman. Back-to-back -back goals right there. Tomas Hurdle tries to clean it up a little bit by making it 4-3. But in the end, San Jose did not have the offensive Man. power to defeat LA. Beautiful. I mean, guys, real quick, folks out there. this is We just started this quick little – this is when – if you're new here today, usually the GOAT Barnes is here. He's on assignment in Jamaica, man. Um, and so usually hockey's a little bit more in-depth. They talk about it more. There's even sometimes highlights, as you just talked about, McDavid. Yeah. Um, but are we not better than PIT? Oh, S T I N K. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that's I, right. Oh, I'm right. S T I N K. I baby. may not be able to do math that well. Math. Yeah, math. But I uh, can definitely write and spell. Um. So, by the way, talk about getting roasted. Um. Everyone's Don, Don, Don. You idiot. Call Peter. <laughs> I just used it this morning to clean my dishes. Fuck! <laughs> You're so backwards, Honestly, dude. Honestly, dude. Um, so, tonight, I was just looking, Tony. I'm sure you're very excited. Big sleep. Um, I know why you're happy. Um, so, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. Why don't we do three and three and have a straight update? I think three and three is a good job, dude. But the date at the end with the Winnipeg. We'll do Winnipeg in the Buffalo. We'll, get, we'll go straight up right there. You. We'll go to, like you and Barnes do one, two, three. I oh, be a part oh of it. so you want to do three apiece and one heads up? Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do Winnipeg Buffalo heads up? Yeah. All right, baby, dude. Let's, let's get do crazy. it. All right. So I'll start off with my first pick. Obviously, avoid the Winnipeg Buffalo game. I'll save that for our heads up pick later on. Uh, but tonight, how do I not go with the with the Rangers tonight? And honestly, I am really surprised. Um, looks like Chris Kreider is out this game um, with, I think, an upper body injury he suffered from the last game the Rangers had. Um, of course, you know, they were still able to beat the Minnesota Wild in that tight game. Um, so you're definitely gonna be missing Kreider, but the Rangers still minus 125 here, home at the garden. Uh, the game is obviously, as it always is, seven o'clock tonight on MSG. Um, and Dallas coming in here, very hot team. Jason Robertson, um, one of the point leaders in the entire league, buddy, uh, coming out of nowhere. And we mentioned Odinger as well. Great in between the pipes there for Dallas. Um, but you know what? Vegas thinks I'm right. So I think I'm right. Uh, I want to say 
The Rangers come out of here. They've already beaten Dallas once this year, six to three. Doesn't matter. Um, I would say Dallas is definitely better since that last game, which was almost in November now. Uh, so give me the Rangers here. Go by Heedle. Go by Goudreau. Go by Miller. The young guys say, hey, we don't need Chris Kreider. We love him. But the young kids got this one. Don't worry. The youth is here to stay, baby. Rangers win this one. I'll say 4-3 empty netter at the end. It's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy. You know, that could be your demise for the double or nothing. But we will be surprised, won't we? My pick. <laughs> We're going to continue the hot play. Maple Leafs? The Detroit Web Red Wings. I was about to say Wed Wings. Wed Wings. Street <laughs> Detroit Wed Wings. Detroit Wed Wings. I'm I fud. see a wabbit. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're going to continue this. It's going to be tough and gritty, folks. It's not going to be given easy. It's not. Two what physical they're, teams. What they're going to do is get it physical. They're going to get deep and down and dirty. They're going to get it 3-2. Detroit. ESPN. Twas the night before pizza. Wow, dude. The night before pizza. Did you think about that last night? What did you think? No, I just did that. Really? That's that's what you do. All right. Anyway, dude, my next pick here. Just looking here, um, dude. A lot of good games here. Do Coyotes, Senators. Um, you know what? I'll I'll take Michael's pick from last night because I like the Predators. I really did think the Predators would would have won last night. Uh, give me the Preds here. They're minus one forty five on the road here against the Canadiens. I understand. You know, Montreal has been good at home. They have Marty St. Louis as their coach. You know, they're leaning on Suzuki a lot. Uh, in terms of a lot of their offense, as well as Colton Caulfield, the young buck. Um, but I mentioned Philip Forsberg, uh, Roman Josie as well, and Hus Sados in between the pipes for them. I mean, I think Nashville is all around a really solid team. Montreal, probably give them a good run for their money at home here. But give me Nashville. I would say in a tight one, they beat Montreal 2-1. to one. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Montreal 2-1. to one. I'm going to go. Are you writing this down, by the way? No. All right, all right, all right. Just figured you'd know. Well, normally Brian does. The guy at the desk normally does it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that, I, that, I have that it in table. here, though. Oh, you do? I wrote it down in here. Okay, good. Then I won't have to write it down. <clears throat> no, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, always good to be safe. A double check. Um. So, the, what? let me pick the next game. I'm going to go... <sighs> I'm going to go in the harbors of Boston. Wow. The Kraken. No. Come on top and shock the world, baby. That's crazy, dude. That's what I do. That's crazy. Boston's been killing it at home, let alone in the entire league. Well, Seattle's coming, baby. Quite the underdog. Boston's at minus 235. Good for you. What's your final score there for that game? 3 1. Wow, dude. Silence them. Silencing the night. Barnes likes that. Turn on the ovens, baby, because here I come. Michael's making my pizza. That's what I'm saying. Um, ah, the last game here, you look at Panthers, Golden Knights. It's gonna be a tight one. Blues, Flames. Um, give me the dog here, honestly. In the Blues, the St. Louis Blues extinguishing the Calgary Flames. Uh, the Blues gonna be here in St. Louis. Games at eight o'clock tonight. Um, there's some fucking phenomenal hockey on tonight. I love this dude. Um, Cairo has been killing it. Forty-one points here for St. Louis. Twenty goals. I believe he had. A couple goals in the past few games. Uh, we mentioned, you know, Calgary struggling here. Um, they just lost St. Louis, actually, 4-3 in overtime. And they lost them earlier in December, 5-2. This is the last time these two teams are meeting. And St. Louis is pushing for the sweep. Bring out the brooms, baby. Because St. Louis wins this game. 4-1. Beautiful, beautiful things are going on. So now <laughs> we have... That's it? Do we have any more picks? What do you mean? Yeah, you got one more. Besides the Winnipeg Buffalo? You have one more pick. Oh, I do. Heads up. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, Vancouver, Tampa Bay game? No, no, there's a lot more games to choose from. I don't see them. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, we have Panthers, Golden Knights. Wow. We have Hurricanes, Holy Blue Jackets. I didn't see all these. Yeah, dude, there's like fucking 15 games going on. Wow. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, I'm okay. going to go. All right. I'm going to go. Hurricanes is a good pick. No, no, I'm going to go my Bulgarian brethren, 8.30 p.m., Colorado over Chicago. Wow, dude. Let's go. I love that for you. That will be a shutout. I'm sending the lion power over. Yeah, for Georgiev. For Georgiev. From Rusev 
That's where yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's where, where my, I say you pronounce it. Rusev? Yeah, yeah, Rusev. Yeah, yeah, it's where my grandparents are from. So, so sick, let's go. Dude. Let's dude. fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go. Wave that Bulgarian flag tonight all the way into Southport Pizza. Yes, not tonight, tomorrow, technically. But you're waving tonight and tomorrow, you'll you'll go into Southport Pizza with me. Yes. 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 Cool. Heads up, buddy. So now sometimes um, you know, Brian and I. Um, we do a three, two, one, and you just choose, but we're doing heads up, right? So I'm going to give you the pick of the litter actually for this game. Do you want Winnipeg or you want Buffalo? I'll, uh, I'll, take I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. It could be a toss up, honestly. Winnipeg, minus... Buffalo, New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's who I would have picked, but I'll take Winnipeg. Um, that's going to be a dog fight tonight, dude. A lot it. of great talent, it. a lot of, a lot of great talent on both teams. Both teams are pretty hot too. And in Buffalo, I would love to see that. I wish we could watch this fucking game, dude. Such bullshit. We're going to get Buffalo games down here, but that's okay, dude. Stream East. Everybody yeah. stream East. Stream live. East. Live. That, yeah. um, okay, so cool. That is our hockey segment. That's our NHL picks. Uh, let's go to the comments real quick. Real quick comments. Pick segments over. We have two comments. Uh, Matthew follows up, you idiot, with love you boys. <laughs> Fantastic show. Back to Ludlow. Talking a bit. Love. Peace and love. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, Matthew. Thank uh, you, Matthew. Appreciate have you fun in. at Ludlow. Yes. Um, so now that we're done with the NHL segment, I say it's time to go. Oh, hold on. Actually, I was going to ask you this. There's week. Can we, are we able to do the show Saturday for like in the morning? If not Friday, Saturday morning. Yeah, I think so. Why don't we do that? Saturday early morning. We want to do a Saturday weekend dish. Football frenzy, football frenzy, all football Saturday. playoff in honor of the playoffs. Maybe we get a Barnes call in. Maybe we get. I think we could swing that early on Friday, early on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Rather. What time are we thinking? So we know, let the viewers know. Here. I think we should keep it 10 o'clock. Like we've been, Let's do like it. Do 10 a.m. Yeah, folks, 10 Saturday. We're not going to hit football Friday. We have, we're we very busy tomorrow. Yeah. yeah big um, shoot day tomorrow. Big shoot day. Um, But you know what? I think that, that kind of works out nice because there's games on Saturday, too, actually. Wow. Playoff games on Saturday That's and right. Sunday there this are. weekend. So here we go. Yeah. We'll preview the weekend on Saturday morning before the games start. Hell yeah, baby. Um, anything else? We will also review the pizza on we Saturday we'll, on the show. We'll have it on the show. We can't. It doesn't oh, no, open. Oh, yeah. So open. how are we going to review the pizza? The game. Oh, it's tonight, Friday. We'll eat. Review Saturday. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tag him and bag him, baby. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right, so is there anything else as on our way out? Um, I want to think uh, right now. Uh, baseball stuff has been pretty quiet, obviously. Korea big news already happened. Um, not, not, not much else, dude. We did our little, uh, you know, Thursday light slate here. The lull before the big playoff weekend of the NFL. It's gonna be crazy. Giants, baby. G men. I know Barnes is licking his chops. Oh, dude, Dedrowski. You see his uh, quarterback ratings. I heard they uh, Rick and Dave were Terry. I heard Orlovsky what where they put Daniel Jones. They, they put, put Daniel it? Jones eight mm. in front of like Trevor Lawrence, Dak Prescott, Justin Herbert, um, like in front of all these quarterbacks. It was just so crazy, dude. Let's see if I can bring the list up here. And you can see one of Dan Orlovsky QB rating. Let's see, let's see what it is. Oh, fuck. I don't want his QB Such, rating. Oh, my God. 75 ranking all. 14 NFL quarterbacks. This was two days ago. Maybe this is it. Let's see, dude. Mahomes. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> that's it. Yeah, it's number eight, yeah. Daniel Jones. Seven is Tom. He puts him right behind. Yeah, right behind Tom Brady is Daniel Jones. And behind Daniel Jones is Trevor Lawrence, Geno Smith, Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott. I don't know. I wouldn't. Is he saying? I guess this is he saying right now. Yeah, towards at this point, which is the end of the regular season, like this is this is I mean, what it I is. guess it's not that crazy. You don't think it's that crazy, dude? Trevor Lawrence, I mean, Trevor Lawrence definitely like you think he's better. Than I think Daniel, Daniel Jones? Jones has like seven throwing touchdowns or something, like thirteen throwing touchdowns or something. Really, I don't know. I'm not really looking into Daniel Jones' season currently. So, uh, fifteen uh, throwing touchdowns. There you go, three thousand yards, tied for twenty first in terms of throwing touchdowns. Fifteenth in the league in terms of yardage through the air so those are his stats there you go third in the league in terms of interceptions giving up which is not good that's like eli he's just like eli yeah he's dude. Gonna, but what happens what if he is like eli and he comes in the playoffs and just kills it no that's the plan here but then look at trevor lawrence who's behind him okay over four thousand yeah, yards yeah 25 touchdowns yeah. 
Does, and only has three more interceptions. No, he's definitely better. Definitely better. And you think of Trevor. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> Even Geno Smith, dude. Even Geno Smith. He dude. broke the franchise record for uh, most. Uh, 30. First, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. 30 yeah. touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Come on, yeah, dude. Yeah, come on, yeah, interceptions, yeah, but yeah. still. Crazy, yeah. dude. People were ripping up Dan Orlovsky, which is mainly Rick and Dave. How ridiculous this this list is. I mean, Dave was loving it because, you know, Daniel Jones was eight. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Dan is he seems like a nice guy. Dan Orlovsky off, off, off the like a family man, but I just hate the whole show of ESPN and he's yeah. one of those showmen. And I don't know. They're just I, I, don't, I don't know why people suits. listen to these people. Um, I don't know, because it's just so like it's to, all that's there. Yeah, I guess well, so. Go share this with people then. And I mean, hey man, you know, I guess it's just the the guys from Trumbull, right? He's from Shelton. From Shelton went to Trumbull High. Shelton High. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. It's <laughs> not it, good. And it for wasn't Shelton that dude. now. Because Shelton now is at least chill. Like they got yeah. like nice restaurants and stuff. Why what was Shelton back then? Like shit kicking, nothing going on. Fucking yeehaw. Really, dude. But yeah, like he doesn't seem like a yeehaw guy. He seems like he like he was born and bred in Fairfield. He wishes. Wow, dude, that's crazy. He wishes. He probably lives now somewhere. Westport or something. Definitely. Greenwich. Like such a, yeah, dude. Uh, if I were him, I'd be king of the castle. Go buy fucking land in Shelton and be the king, the mayor of Shelton. Mayor of Shelton, dude, yeah. I don't know. Oh, guys, anything else? I'm done. We're done with the show today, I think, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're done. You got anything else guys, on the way out, dude? No, just, you know. Be mobile again today. It's if it's raining out there, be hey, extra mobile. Honestly, yeah. Even if even though it's raining, maybe deterred to go outside. Just deal with it, dude. The rain out there, the cold, it's really nice, honestly. Yeah, Wim Hof, man. You not, know, even, not even about the Wim cold. Hof, yes, it is about him. Not because about if you could handle stress, a cold, you could handle stress. If you handle stress, direct you handle correlation. Cold. Direct correlation goes both ways, vice versa. Dude. Well, guys, thanks you thanks so much for being here. We will be here Saturday, not Friday. Remember that yeah. Friday 10 a.m. Is, uh, is a no go. 10 a.m. Saturday, uh, talking all football. So can't wait to see you guys there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, tell them about this show, and uh, share with we, an enemy. We'll uh, yeah, with an enemy too. Um, and we will see you. Manana. Hey guys, Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love what we do. Thanks again.